Hello, Live Love Readers. Today we're going to be reading out of the 365 Fairy Tales, Rhymes, and Other Stories. And we are going to be reading The Wicked Queen. Okay, here we go. Once there lived a very wicked queen, whose husband, the king, was as good as she was wicked. But everyone said that the king was just a bit too good. In fact, he could only see good in people and seem blind to the evil deeds of his wicked wife. One day, when the queen was in a particularly bad mood, she locked one of the servants in a cupboard. When the servant complained of this bad treatment to the king, he just said that it must have been a mistake. My lovely wife would never do such a dreadful thing, he told the servant. The next day, a young maid was cleaning the queen's room. She was late finishing and knew she would be punished if the queen found her still there. So when the poor young maid heard the queen approaching, she hid under the bed. The maid peeked out and saw the queen enter the room. She was astonished to see the queen open up a golden box and take from it a crystal bottle. The queen opened the bottle and carefully poured three drops of liquid, fr liquid from it into a silver goblet. Ha ha! laughed the queen. When the king drinks my magic potion, he sees only good things and never sees the misery I create. The maid could hardly believe her own eyes and knew that there was only one thing to do. She crept over to the golden box. She opened the crystal bottle and poured the contents of the, into a plant pot. Then she quickly filled the bottle back up with water and put it back in the golden box. The next day, the queen put the usual three drops of potion into the king's silver goblet, but of course... It was just harmless water, and her power over the good king was broken. That day, the wicked queen had locked three children from the village in the castle dungeon for no good reason. When the children's parents came to complain to the king, he couldn't believe his ears. My wife would never do such a thing, he told them, but nevertheless, he went to check for himself and was shocked to find the children there. When the brave little maid heard what had happened, she rushed off to see the king. She told him all about what she had seen in the wicked queen's room and about the magic potion. The king was furious to hear how the people of his kingdom had been treated. He discovered that the wicked queen was really a witch in disguise and he banished her from his kingdom forever. He and his subjects lived happily ever after. The end.